All right, we want to do a little demo here. We got the projector showing some games up here, and then over on this other TV, the 32 inch, we got better sidekick loaded up. I want to show you a little bit of demonstration as to some of the speeds and features that the app has. So, right now we've got queued in uh, the NBA screen selected from the drop down up here. Uh, we're looking right here now at the uh, Denver OKC game and going to do a little bit of score comparison here between ESPN's app and our app. So right now ESPN's app has a score of 14 to 15. We got 15 to 15. Game is 15 to 15. Still 14 to 15. So let's look at how fast this stuff updates here. KD nails it. Now it's 15 to 17. All right, just moved to 15 to 17. 4:59 left. ESPN is still struggling down there at 15 to 15. Let's see when they catch back up with us. One of the features of Better Sidekick is that it updates extremely, extremely quickly. They just knocked down a three. Now it's 18 to 17. Let's see when R goes up to 18 to 17. ESPN still down at 15 to 15. We make sure that ours refreshes more frequently than most of any other app out there. There goes ours 18 to 17 with 4.53 left. ESPN still 15 to 15. Let's just keep this rolling to see if ESPN actually will move their score here. Right now it's a uh, dead ball, ball out of bounds. 4.13 left, our game is up to 4.13. ESPN connected to the same network. There we go, 18 to 17. Finally changes. All right, there we go. That's that demo. I got one of my buddies over here and he took a bet on this game that we're watching here on TV, the Denver OKC game. Matt, what did you get on that one? I've got $100 on the over in this Oklahoma City game. Okay. Over uh, 217. Over 217. So I want to show you how easy it is. When you go to the schedule screen, we're at the schedule tab right down here, and, uh, and we'll pick the NBA from the drop down up here. We want to go to place a bet. So just tap anywhere on that line. The pop-up will come. We want to hit place bet. We want to place the bet on the over. He, he took, uh, what did you take, 217? Yes. 217, let's change that. 217 is right in there. He got 100 down on it. It's already default set to 100, so all you have to do is hit place bet. Boom, the bet has been placed. Hit OK. Tap down here on the bets tab at the bottom right there. And uh, let's go look at our open bets. Those are my completed bets. And it'll refresh. And this is Matt's bet right here, Denver OKC over 217. He's winning that bet right now. Actually, you must be winning it by a fraction of a point because you're not even on pace by one point to go over. So let's see how this goes here. They just scored. It's now 24 to 20. But the time is now 2.26, so let's see how the format, there you go. You are now at plus one, and they just scored again, 24 to 22. So you should go up to probably on pace above one once this updates to 24 to 22, because they got that hoop pretty quickly. Boom, and then they just dropped a three. So let's see when this updates here. There you go, 22 to 27. Now you're up by four, your bet's still winning. I've got a bet in here that I placed earlier, Robert Morris over Kentucky. I got a line of plus four on that one. 
and they are winning by one point at halftime, so that bet's covering too. So both these bets are winning. We're going to show you a demo, throw a few other bets in here, show you how it looks moving from winning to losing. All right, right now we want to do a little demo and show you guys how easy it is to place bets for the March Madness contest and exactly where these games are. So right now I'm at the schedule tab and I am up here and I've selected my sport is college basketball. So um, as you can see, I'm looking at some of the college games right now. The game I'm looking at um, right here is the uh, Maryland Niagara game, which is right here. That's the game that's on TV right now. Uh, you can see the score is 46 to 66. But this is uh, March 19th, as you can see. Let's scroll down to when the games start on March 21st. And you'll get down to the March 21st games. And what you'll see here is um, this is the start of the tournament games. Obviously, it starts on the 21st, which is Thursday. Uh, and the game, the first game here that you see is the... Um, this is the Valparaiso Mississippi State, uh, Michigan State game rather. Uh, then after that, you've got the Bucknell Butler game, and these are the lines and the spreads. You've got the Wichita State Pittsburgh game below that. So they're organized by. Uh, I've organized them here by start time. You can easily change the organization on the games if you want by going up here to the top right of the settings wheel. You tap that, and you can change it uh, to rotation order if you want by just tapping the button right there and I'll change it to rotation order. Um, I like to place my bets in rotation order. I like to watch the games in time order. It's easy to go back and forth and change those. So all you do, same procedure as before. If you want to take uh, Bucknell to upset Butler, you just tap on the screen uh, on this line right here for the Butler-Bucknell game and you place your bet and you go ahead and place the bet on uh, Bucknell plus three and a half and just hit place bet your bets in and it counts go to your bets tab down here at the bottom and there it just popped up as a future bet it's gonna be 1240 on the 21st and you've got plus three and a half as easy as it is, you can place bets on the sides or the totals. Whoever has the most winning bets with the fewest losing bets and nets the most profit wins first place in the contest. We're also doing this for the uh, NIT tournament as well. Um, so there's going to be a lot of games that are down here uh, for the other tournaments combined. NIT, College Insider, CBI, uh, those games, those are what you see down here where it's blank. There's rotation numbers and times, but there's no teams. That's because they don't know who's going to be in these games yet because these teams are playing over the next couple of days in the first round of these tournaments. They're going to be filled in here once we know who's playing. So that's as easy as it is. If you want to get more information, it's right here. You can tap this ad. If you want to um, figure out a little bit more about how to use the app, you can tap that ad right there. All right, so right now we want to show you some of the bets that uh, some of these guys made here and how their games are going. We're flipping back and forth between this Norfolk State-Virginia game and uh, this Northeastern Alabama game. So we've got some people here. Uh, Summer, what did you take here? I have Northeastern plus 11. That's you, Doug. And we only have a one-point cushion here, so I'm getting a little nervous. But we've got some time left, so it'll be all right. All right, so that one's you. Who is this? This is that one. All right, who is this one that we're watching on the Virginia? Who is the nut job that picked Virginia? Hey, hometown favorite here. Go, go Cavaliers. They don't look like they even showed up for this game so far. Man, they, they should be whooping their, their downstate rivals here. Norfolk State. I got the Virginia minus 16. And we're Virginia's supposed to be number we're, one seed, huh? Yeah, they're Doesn't number one seed oh, playing okay. number eight. A little bit of a right. comeback. Man, I thought this would be a slam dunk for those Cavaliers. They better get their act together here. They're down by three. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm up, uh, down by 19. Not good. We need to score. Come on, Cavs. So that, so that one's you. 
Uh, the Matt, you you got this one that's crushing it right here. Yeah, I'm still wow. sitting here at halftime, but it looks pretty comfortable. That, uh, that'll go over. You're up uh, 22 points above the pace that's needed for this uh, Denver Oklahoma City game. Summer, you just dropped past. You're no longer yeah, covering. I see. We have time though. You're back down to losing. And we have uh, time. and then who was this that placed the uh, that first game up there? Yeah, it was Bob. Would you Boston Boston University Loyola? Oh, Loyola yeah. Maryland. Yeah. Yeah. So you're you've got 14 seconds left. You need them to score another bucket. Because you're trailing by one and a half points. Right, I gave uh, seven and a half. Oh, you just did. Did you see that? I just moved over. <laughs> just like a half a point. Too bad I didn't know a TV. 14 seconds left. I'm up by a half a point. Yes. Go, Iola. Oh, and now, now Northeastern has fallen. They're down by. They're down. Trailing the spread by three. Virginia's just taking the lead. Well, oh, no, not, got it. not anymore. Uh, they're, they're starting to get some energy now. They needed to wake up a little bit. Come on, Cavs. They're probably disappointed they're in the NIT. Two seconds left, Bob. Maybe you'll go one and one here in this top game. Yeah, no incentive for... Boston University to score anything. Let's dribble the ball a couple times and pack it in. Go back to Bean Town. What? You just lost on What a... went on over <laughs> there in the last two seconds? Old Boston's threw a three pointer up from who knows where? It was 70 to 60 with two seconds oh, left. You thought God. you had it in the bank. Must have been some questionable was... calls at the end. Oh, Two man. seconds left, of probably a half court heave for man. three. Better My team up that double shift tomorrow at work. Yeah. <laughs> so that was when you bet on teams you don't know anything about. Oh. <laughs>